Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing the makeup look from my rule book part 2 and along with this tutorial I'm going to be answering some questions answered in the last two videos. Thank you everybody who asked the questions and also thank you for everyone who has been commenting such supportive remarks. I really appreciate it. I'm going to start with Diane's comment. This is a very popular question that I get a lot and it's did you ever tell your parents when it went on there after you were out? Were they aware of how bad it was? Did I ever forgive them? I think a lot of other listeners can relate to Diane's comment of saying that they are having trouble forgiving them. So my parents sent their first daughter and she came out very well behaved and I don't think they realized that it was because of the brainwashing and the fear that they instilled in her. And then later on, years later, after I had already been sent, she got much, much worse. So I think by the time they realized, it was just a little bit too late. And both parents have expressed great, great sadness at the fact that they sent me. And both have admitted that it is a mistake. I've accepted their apologies. And it helps me to live in peace and forgive and move on. So my parents have done a lot to support me. My mom put me through makeup school. My dad bought me a car so that I could go to jobs when I started getting booked. So yeah, I mean, they've supported me a lot. They just also made a huge, huge mistake. Also, I think it's important to note that my relationship with my parents is unique to me. And if your parents sent you and are unapologetic and are cruel to you in other ways, there's nothing wrong with not forgiving them and moving on. Now, Just Tired asked pretty much if you refused on all levels to submit to the program, what would happen to you? Uh, would the discipline continue? Would it get worse? What would happen? So if you did not cooperate with the program, your life would be hell and they would try to keep you as long as possible. They would delay your visits with family. They would take away any small joys that existed. They'd take away sweets. They'd make you write sentences 24-7. They would add you 30 days to 60 days to three months. So really almost everybody did submit to that program. There were very few girls who got to leave because of bad behavior. There was one girl who was deeply affected by mental illness and she was the only girl that I ever knew to be removed after two weeks and that is because she truly needed more care than they could provide there. Now Alice asked me how long I stayed with the values of the Christian school, how long it took me to adjust and to undo all their teachings, and if I'm even still a Christian now. First of all, I consider myself agnostic. I'm not religious at all. I don't know, don't care. And as far as my healing, it's been a long journey. I think it took me about three years to shake the feeling that I was going to die and go to hell at any moment. And then it took about six or seven years to feel like I was a complete person, like I had prospects for the future, like I didn't have anything to hide. I think when you spend your young years um, in fear, you don't develop in a lot of ways. So I was very jealous of people with normal upbringings because I had struggles that shouldn't have even existed. And now I embrace those because they've made me who I am, but I was definitely very resentful for a good five or six years. I just felt a lot of loss. And there's not really even enough time to describe it, so I might go over this in another Get Ready With Me. And this is it for today. I appreciate you guys. Love you all. And thanks again. I'll be back soon.